to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode number 18, and this is the final Monday Night Raw before the Money in the Bank pay-per-view coming up on May the 2nd, live right here on the YouTube channel. Here tonight on Monday Night Raw, we're going to get a preview of the Money in the Bank ladder matchup coming up on May 2nd. A six-man tag team matchup has been signed. Austin Theory, Samoa Joe, and Matt Riddle take on Mustafa Ali, Damian Priest, and the Rated R Superstar Edge. A lot of combustible elements in this six-man tag team matchup tonight. Who's going to build momentum? Heading into the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. But speaking of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, this man has got himself a date with the WWE Champion here tonight and a shot at the title, as well as a fellow challenger in a triple threat contest come May the 2nd. Jeff Hardy set for a little Money in the Bank preview action right here tonight on Monday Night Raw against the phenomenal WWE Champion AJ Styles. What a match to kick us off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! Coming up on May the 2nd, Jeff Hardy will be a part of a triple threat contest against the man who has had a lot of issues with in recent memory, the Prince Finn Balor. Both of those men take on the phenomenal AJ Styles with the WWE Championship on the line, which should be an epic triple threat contest. Money in the Bank coming up this coming Monday, May the 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. A live premiere right here on the Noah Nation YouTube channel. You are not going to want to miss it. It is going to be an extraordinary event. Seven matches signed. It's going to be a can't-miss pay-per-view special. But who is going to build momentum towards the WWE Championship matchup at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? One of two challengers, Jeff Hardy, set for action against the man at the top of the franchise at the moment. The phenomenal one, the WWE Champion. He is 5-1 in recent memory here on Universe Mode. AJ Styles set for one-on-one -on -one action. AJ coming off a loss to challenger Finn Balor this past week on Main Event. Now he faces his other challenger for Money in the Bank in singles action here tonight. What will be the result? And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. As we mentioned the last time we saw AJ Styles inside the squared circle was this past week on WWE Main Event. When the Phenomenal WWE Champion took on the Prince Finn Balor inside of the ring. And even with a distraction. And the charismatic in England, Jeff Hardy, tried sticking his nose in that matchup. Finn Balor was able to prevail over the WWE Champion, giving AJ Styles his first loss here in the last couple of weeks. He was on a five-match winning streak, but Finn Balor getting one up over the WWE Champion ahead of Money in the Bank. Will Jeff Hardy have the same fate, though, here tonight, as he now has a chance to build some momentum towards the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? I cannot wait till we get to May 2nd, and the WWE title's on the line, but we're getting ourselves a little preview here to kick us off for what should be a great night of action on Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy kicking us off here. These two have faced many times before around the world in several promotions, but here in the WWE, they're battling out. And a huge date, as we mentioned, is set up. Imagine what is going to happen when Finn Balor enters the fray. And we have a triple threat between all three of these men. Jeff Hardy trying to knock off the WWE Champion early. AJ Styles still got fight in him. Jeff Hardy's had a lot of recent issues with the Prince Finn Balor. He let Finn Balor know a couple of weeks ago that those issues were far from over. It all started when Jeff Hardy defeated Finn Balor in one-on-one -on -one action on Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks back. Finn Balor with a post-match assault laying out Jeff Hardy. Which then led to the Money in the Bank, or excuse me, the Backlash pay-per-view a few weeks back where Finn Balor would get a win back over Jeff Hardy in one-on-one -on -one action. Now the two men, their paths will cross again. You add in the X-Factor, and you added a huge opportunity on the line with the WWE Championship in play and AJ Styles. The issues between Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor are going to continue to escalate. But you gotta, wait a minute. 
And it looks like the Prince Finn Balor is taking a page out of Jeff Hardy's book. Well, I guess except he's not going to come out here. Jeff Hardy made his presence felt on main event. But Finn Balor just had his music play. And it's not a, a case that he wants to AJ Styles to win here. I think it's just a case that he wants to stick it to Jeff Hardy. As we mentioned, Jeff Hardy came out the ringside during the Finn Balor AJ Styles contest on main event. Which in the end did not play dividends anyway for AJ Styles and Finn Balor knocked off the WWE Champion. It looks like Finn Balor nonetheless wants to get back at Jeff Hardy here. Having his Titan Tron in music distract the charismatic enigma. Now the WWE Champion is in control over Jeff Hardy in our opening contest here this evening. As AJ's got Jeff in a burning hammer position. Gonna send him for a ride. Jeff Hardy eats the canvas. And Jeff could be down and out. He's been in trouble ever since that distraction for the Prince. AJ Styles, phenomenal forearm on Jeff Hardy. Early on in the matchup. But the knockout blow from the phenomenal one. AJ Styles beats Jeff Hardy here tonight on Raw. It was short, sweet, and to the point. Finn Balor making his presence felt. Letting Jeff Hardy know that he is not in his head. And nonetheless, Finn defeats AJ. AJ defeats Jeff. What is it going to matter when all three men are in the ring with nothing left to lose and everything to gain with the WWE Championship of the Lawn? Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles! Who walks out of Money in the Bank? The WWE Champion. Will it be Finn? Will it be Jeff? Or will the phenomenal one still be atop of the WWE? Let's keep the action rolling here on Monday Night Raw. Here comes the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. She lives brutality herself. Rhea Ripley has got herself a date with Bianca Belair at Money in the Bank as she is set for singles action right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. It was a few weeks back right here on Raw after Bianca Belair defeated Bailey inside of the ring that Rhea Ripley made her presence felt. She laid out the women's champion, beat the hell out of her inside of the squared circle. Rhea sending a message on that night that she was cut into the front of the line and that she wanted next with the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. And Rhea Ripley will get that matchup. And Bianca Blair will have her chance at retribution for the attack. Coming up on May the 2nd. When Rhea Ripley challenges Bianca Blair for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Bianca has been on a roll as of late. Two victories over Shotzi. A win over Sasha Banks at Backlash. A recent victory here on Raw against Bayley. Will Rhea Ripley be able to dethrone Bianca herself? And the two go one-on-one -on -one at Money in the Bank. Nonetheless, Rhea Ripley set for one-on-one -on -one action here against Liv Morgan right now on Monday Night Raw. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Liv Morgan looking to bounce back after she lost a women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup a couple of weeks back on main event against Shayna Baszler. Liv looking to get back in the winning ways and what a huge matchup this is going one-on-one -on -one with Rhea Ripley. A win over the number one contender could absolutely solidify Liv Morgan as the next up in line for the Women's Championship after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. A great opportunity for Liv here tonight to get the winning ways back on her side and possibly punch a future ticket at a championship opportunity. On the flip side, Rhea Ripley looking to build momentum towards her championship opportunity coming up on May the 2nd. But here we go as Monday Night Raw rolls on. We got a little bit of women's action right here as Rhea goes flying with the clothesline. Liv steps it and immediately going to stick on the attack of Rhea Ripley. But Rhea just shoulder blocking through there. And you got to watch the Rhea Ripley. We know how brutal she could be inside of the ring. Still to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, as you guys know, we're going to get a preview 
of the men's Money in the Bank ladder match coming up on May 2nd is a six-man tag team matchup. The first three men to qualify for that match, Edge, Mustafa Ali, and Damian Priest, will team up against the last three men to qualify for that matchup, Austin Theory, Samoa Joe, and Matt Riddle. A lot of combustible elements. Who knows if those two teams will be able to get along in that six-man tag later tonight. We're going to find out later on. As we got Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley in the ring right now, Liv taking the fight to the number one contender. We already talked about the opportunity that is at hand for Liv Morgan here. A win over the number one contender could absolutely put her at the front of the line for after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, regardless of who walks out of the women's champion. Especially, oh, and Rhea Ripley just cutting her off. What a super kick. And I was going to say, especially since Liv failed to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, she's got to be looking for any opportunity she can right now to get momentum back on her side. Nice drop toe hold to the number one contender. And Liv going for the cover. Could have been possibly a knockout blow with Rhea Ripley. You know, she's tough as nails inside of that ring. She's able to get the shoulder up very fast over Liv Morgan. We talked about the role that Bianca Blair has been on as of late. Two victories over Shotzi and back to back incredible matches on Raw and main event before Backlash. And then at the Backlash pay per view, Bianca Blair made short work of Sasha Banks retaining the Women's Championship unintentionally, breaking a few of the ribs of Sasha Banks on that night. Sasha then was diagnosed four to eight weeks. She'd be out. It's been a couple of weeks since we've seen the boss. And of course, a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Bianca defeated Bailey inside of the ring, and that was when Rhea Ripley made that attack afterwards. She's got to live in the corner now. Running had a steam and a big boot by Miss Brutality herself. Live down and out. Rhea just pumbling on her opponent here. Certainly looking to send a message to the WWE Women's Champion. As I'm sure Bianca Belair is looking on at the woman who attacked her a couple of weeks ago and the woman who is at the front of the line for the Women's Championship. As Liv looking to fight back, she sends Rhea Ripley over the top rope. I don't even know if she meant to there. I think she's just trying to get Rhea off of her. She sent Rhea flying, but she's got to watch. You know how brutal and how vicious Ripley can be in the ring, and that was a nice counter there. And another super kick. A showcase for Rhea Ripley here tonight. She is putting the hurt on Liv Morgan. Now looking to stretch Liv Morgan out. Possibly tap her out here. A submission hold that Rhea Ripley put in on Bianca a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely did a number on the women's champion. But look at Liv able to battle out. Nice head scissors takeover. Five Rhea Ripley's opponent here this evening. But Rhea staying on the offense. It's going to take a lot to keep her down. Especially with the fire that is lit underneath her at the moment. She does not want to lose ahead of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Coming up on May the 2nd, the live premiere at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the YouTube channel as Liv Morgan eats the canvas. Rhea looking to send an emphatic message to the women's champion here tonight. Sending Liv to the corner, drops the elbow, follows it up. Rhea Ripley has been dominant throughout this matchup. I got to call it 70-30 Ripley if you ask me. A very brutal and vicious showing by the number one contender. Liv's definitely got to try to piece some things together here. She's got to fight back if she wants any chance of winning this. Able to get the bigger woman up, but Rhea Ripley's right there to drop her with a DDT. Every time Liv tries to mount some momentum in this matchup, Ripley's there to cut her off. Liv is out. Rhea Ripley's tying her legs up. We got a submission hold here. And Liv could be in deep, deep trouble as Ripley is really wrenching it in. And Liv Morgan's got a tap. Liv with no choice but to tap out to the number one contender. And like it or not, Rhea Ripley is building momentum to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. A great win, an impressive victory for the number one contender here tonight. Rhea came out swinging absolutely dominant for the majority of the matchup. And then in the end, as you see, High and Liv Morgan up and just tapping her out. If Rhea gets a hold of Blair like that, we could just be looking at the new WWE Women's Champion at Money in the Bank. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Big win tonight for the number one contender, but can she get it done when the lights are on bright? At Money in the Bank, wait a minute. Ripley's got her back turned. Here comes the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. She doesn't want to wait till Money in the Bank. 
Bianca giving Ripley a taste of her own medicine here with an attack from behind, but Ripley! Ripley's not just laying down for the champion here tonight. Belair trying to get one up on Ripley, but Ripley's right there to beat down the women's champion. Bianca looking for payback, but the number one contender is still here to fight. Oh, but so is Bianca. We're getting a little preview of Money in the Bank as these two women want to get at each other. Oh my, Blair just with the hair whip to the number one contender. A preview of Money in the Bank coming early here tonight with this brawl that has ensued post matchup, but there's Rhea Ripley. Counter in and she lays out Blair. A big win followed up by an attack. Followed up by Rhea Ripley standing tall. Who will be the women's champion come Money in the Bank? Well, coming up on Universe Mode, episode 19, we will get a preview of the women's Money in the Bank ladder match when Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, and Asuka team up against Shayna Baszler, Ember Moon, and Shotzi in a six-woman tag team matchup on WWE Main Event, Universe Mode, episode 19. Before we get to our main event, we got a little more action set for you. It's a singles contest featuring the greatest mask of all time. Rey Mysterio is back in action here tonight on Raw. Last time we saw Rey, he was on the losing side of things alongside his son Dominic. And the two men lost to Murphy and Seth Rollins here on Monday Night Raw, but Rey Mysterio in singles action tonight. Looking to bounce back and get back in the winning ways here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Ray set for singles action. As we mentioned the last time we saw him inside of the ring, he was on the losing side of things, so Ray we're going to get back in the wing ways here tonight on Monday Night Raw. But his opponent, one half of Alpha Academy. Ray goes one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. So these two tag teams are going to be paired off in singles action here as Chad Gable and Rey Mysterio go one-on-one. -on -one. These two have met before inside of the ring, but it's been a while since we've seen them go one-on-one. -on -one. one half of Alpha Academy versus one half of the Mysterios. This should be a great contest here tonight on Monday Night Raw. A match that could build momentum for both teams, possibly even a future tag team championship opportunities. And here we go as Chad Gable taking the fight to Rey Mysterio early. And he's picking the leg. Of right here, nice takeover and just working over the leg of Rey Mysterio. As we have these two great athletes in the ring coming up in just moments, the six man tag team matchup will main event Monday Night Raw. We're going to see Damian Priest, Mustafa Ali, and Edge take on Samoa Joe, Austin Theory, and Matt Riddle. It's going to be an incredible six man tag team main event. I cannot wait for what is eluding us in moments. Chad bringing the fight to Rey Mysterio here. Dominic at ringside watching over his father. And of course, Otis at ringside watching over his tag team partner, Chad Gable. And as we mentioned, this is a singles match tonight, but these two teams could be looking to possibly build momentum towards future World Tag Team Championship opportunities. Of course, the World Tag Team titles will be in the line on May the 2nd at Backlash. Uh, Money in the Bank, excuse me. And Danny Burch and Ernie Lorcan challenge Eric and Ivo for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. Who will walk out? The World Tag Team Champions. We'll find out on May the 2nd. As Chad sends Rey Mysterio up and over. And Rey goes flying to the outside. Chad Gable in control of this match at the moment. Now bringing the fight to the outside of the ring. Not so that we see Chad Gable favoring too often. I guess he feels it's necessary over such an incredible competitor. Rey Mysterio. He's right in front of Rey's son Dominic, but Chad Gable looking to send Rey for a ride. And Rey almost hitting the barricade there, and Chad gonna head back into the ring. He could be looking for the count out victory over Rey Mysterio. 
A victory is a victory in Chad Gable's book, so I'm sure he doesn't mind how he gets his hand raised tonight, if he gets his hand raised. Chad back in the ring, so is Rey Mysterio. Rey gonna meet him there. Shoots him off into the ropes, and Rey Mysterio's got some power in him. He sends Chad Gable with the flapjack down to the canvas board. This match continues, Rey Mysterio. What's he looking for? And Gable here, nice Canadian destroyer by Rey Mysterio. Chad may be dazed and confused after taking that drop on his head. Ray in firm control of this singles contest right here tonight on Raw. A great night of action it's been so far as Ray Mysterio comes with the running drop kick. Sending Chad Gable down with spaghetti lights. Ray headed to the top row where he's most comfortable when he goes for the splash. But one half of Alpha Academy able to get out of the way. Now Chad's got Ray hooked again and he sends him for yet another suplex. Chad Gable's got so many different ways he can tie you up and throw you around inside of the square circle. He goes to the top rope. Ray tries to cut him off, but here's Gable from the top. And Ray Mysterio got some strength. Chad Gable, not the heaviest guy in the books. He does classify as a cruiserweight. Ray Mysterio up there as well. Chad Gable's looking a little lost, but Ray Mysterio's got him. Oh, Chad Gable hits the second rope. Ray looking to dial up the cell phones here. 619 to Chad Gable. Gable's down and out. Mysterio with the springboard and the frog splash. And the cover from Ray. There's the victory for Ray Mysterio. Chad Gable putting up the effort over Ray Mysterio here tonight. A great showing. But in the end, Ray Mysterio bouncing back after a recent loss and getting his hand raised here tonight. Well, wait a minute. Chad Gable looking to confront Ray here. Ray extending the hand. And, and surprisingly, Chad Gable shaking the hand of Rey Mysterio. Well, it's been a great night of action here on Monday Night Raw, but we still got a couple of matches lined up before we get to our main event. The World Tag Team Champions Eric and Ivar looking to build momentum towards Money in the Bank, and they could take on Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin of the Hurt Business. And on the flip side, their challengers, Danny Burch and Ernie Lorcan, are set up for tag team action as well. And they will go two on two. Lindsay Dorado and Kalisto of Lucha House Party. Both sides, the World Tag Team Championship match at Money in the Bank. Looking to build momentum. Who's going to get their hand raised here tonight? As we see, Eric and Ivar pick up the victory over the Hurt Business. And Danny Birch and Uli Lorcan pick up the victory over Lindsay Dorado and Kalisto. Both teams building momentum towards their tag team collision on May the 2nd on pay-per-view. I cannot wait to get the money in the bank. Well, coming up on May the 2nd, as we just heard, Eric and Ivar defend the World Tag Team Championships against a team that owns a victory over them, Danny Merch and Oni Lorkin. The Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line as well. Will Money in the Bank officially become Swerve's house? Isaiah Swerve Scott takes on the leader of Legado del Fantasma and the current Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar, one-on-one. -on -one. The Intercontinental Championship will be up for grabs as the Celtic Warrior Sheamus reignites a rivalry and defends the championship against an old friend and old foe, Drew McIntyre, who earned this victory last week on main event. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line as well. Rhea Ripley, she cuts to the front of the line. Bianca Blair wants payback for the attack. These two women will battle it out officially in the ring for the first time at Money in the Bank. With the WWE Women's Championship of the World on the line. The WWE Championship up for grabs in a triple threat contest. Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy take their issues inside the ring. Now with AJ Styles will play a factor. AJ defends the WWE Championship against Finn and Jeff Hardy in a triple threat contest. It's the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Ember Moon, and Shotzi. All six of these women will do battle. But only one woman can take down the briefcase and earn themselves a future championship opportunity. And then, of course, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Samoa Joe, Damian Priest, Matt Riddle, Edge, Mustafa Ali, and Austin Theory. Who will climb the ladder, retrieve the briefcase, and earn themselves a future opportunity at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship anytime, any place, for up to one year. It is time for your main event here on Monday Night Raw. It's a preview of the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. A six-man tag team matchup. A lot of combustible elements on each side. First things first, representing the RK Bro, 
Without Randy Orton in his corner here tonight, Matt Riddle is set for action ahead of Money in the Bank. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Matt Riddle qualified for the Money in the Bank's lineup match. He was the sixth and final spot to be determined last week on Raw when he went one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley. But it was after the matchup that Riddle went to celebrate with his tag team partner, Randy Orton. And Randy Orton kind of dissed him on the handshake. So a little bit of tension there between Riddle and Orton. We speculated that Orton may have been upset that Riddle got the opportunity to qualify for Money in the Bank instead of him. But nonetheless, Riddle is in. Orton not here tonight. Riddle's got to team up with two other men. One of them being the Samoan Submission Machine. And from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match by defeating Shinsuke Nakamura. It was a great strong style contest, reigniting that old rivalry from NXT. Samoa Joe is a former NXT champion as well as a former United States champion, but he's never held the WWE Championship, and he could guarantee himself an opportunity if, come May the 2nd, he can climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase hanging above the ring. As we mentioned, everybody knows what lies inside of the briefcase, a guaranteed contract for a WWE Championship opportunity at any time, any place, for up to one year's time. That is what these six men will be fighting for come May the 2nd. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, live premiere right here on the YouTube channel. I cannot wait till we get to Money in the Bank. Let's get to the next part of this trio's team. All day, Austin Theory, the self-proclaimed future of the WWE, could fast forward to the future if he can take down the briefcase come Money in the Bank. But first, he's got to get through this six-man tag team contest unscathed here tonight. from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory qualifying for the Money in the Bank ladder match by winning a triple threat contest over Dominic Mysterio, as well as Seth Rollins' disciple Murphy. Last week here on Raw is an impressive victory from the young kid all day, Austin Theory, the self-proclaimed future of the WWE. And as we mentioned, he could hit the fast forward button to the future, if he can pull down the briefcase, I'm just imagine if Austin Theory was on top of the WWE as the WWE Champion, as him and so many others believe he will be one day. The first side of this matchup is set. Austin Theory, Matt Riddle, Samoa Joe. Let's get to their opposers in this epic six-man tag team collision here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali qualifying for the Money in the Bank match by defeating Seth Rollins a few weeks back on Raw, a man that he has had the number of as of late here on WWE television. A lot of issues between those two men. We haven't seen Seth Rollins since he lost to Mustafa Ali. I'm sure Ali's got to feel relieved that he's finally got Seth Rollins out of his line of vision and he can now focus on the next chapter of his career and possibly being Mr. Money in the Bank. Stop Ali has been on a redemption story, trying to rewrite the wrongs of his career. He has done that a lot as of late. He's building momentum week after week. He has looked incredibly impressive inside of the ring. But what could the Money in the Bank do for a young man like Mustafa Ali, if he was able to pull down the contract. But here to team up with Mustafa Ali here tonight, the archer, Damian Priest, who qualified by this Money in the Bank matchup by defeating Dominic Dijakovic in a phenomenal matchup a few weeks back here on Raw. Damian Priest set for action right here, right now. And from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest! Priest has looked incredibly impressive as of late. As we mentioned, he defeated Dominic Dajakovic in what was a phenomenal contest here on Monday Night Raw to qualify 
for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Damian Priest, a former United States champion as well as a former NXT North American champion. Just imagine what the Money in the Bank contract could do for any of these men, but specifically Damian Priest. Imagine Damian Priest getting back in the ring with the phenomenal AJ Styles, a man who has met recently inside of that ring with the WWE Championship on the line. I'm sure Damian Priest would absolutely love to stand across the ring from the, from the phenomenal one once again. Five combatants have entered. We now await our Hall of Fame entry into this matchup. The Rated R Superstar is in the house. It was back on the roll after Backlash where Edge surprised everybody, especially his opponent on that night, Drew McIntyre, by being a mystery opponent in the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. But on that night, in a great contest, Edge was able to defeat Drew McIntyre to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match, a contest that the Rated R Superstar knows very, very well. And we'll touch on that in just a second. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Weighing in at 249 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! Edge is the winner of the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match back at WrestleMania 21 in 2005. He went on to cash in successfully over John Cena in January of 2006. And in 2007, Edge winning the Money in the Bank contract over Mr. Kennedy, cashing it in just days later over the Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge has been there before. He knows what to do with that contract. God only knows what Edge would have in mind if he could do it again. But here we go. Six-man tag team matchup, a preview of the six men that will fight for the Money in the Bank briefcase come May the 2nd. We have Ali and Riddle kicking us off one-on-one. -on -one. So many great styles and so much great pairings in this matchup that you could branch off in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Very interesting matchups in this contest. Austin Theory, Samoa Joe, Riddle on one side, Ali, Priest, and Edge over the other. Riddle with a nice power bomb to Mustafa Ali. Gotta wonder how all these men are gonna get along, especially when you got egos in there like Austin Theory, Hall of Famers like Edge. It'll be very interesting to see how all these men play a factor. Samoa Joe, a guy who's never been one to pair well with others. We got Priest and Samoa Joe in the ring right now. What a great singles match that would be between these two men. It's all about building momentum. One side of this matchup is going to feel just a little bit more hot and heavy heading into the Money in the Bank contest. Will it be Priest, Ali, or Edge? Or will it be Joe, Theory, and Riddle? We got Samoa Joe wrenching in on Damian Priest at the moment. And of course, don't forget, we will have the women's Money in the Bank ladder match as well. Featuring Asuka, Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, Ember Moon, Shotzi, and Shayna Baszler. That match coming up on May 2nd. Of course, as you guys saw, the WWE Championship will be on the line. AJ Styles defends against Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy. Intercontinental Championship contest, Sheamus defends against Drew McIntyre. About the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Santos Escobar defending against Isaiah Swerve Scott. There's going to be an action on main event this coming week. The World Tag Team Championships as Eric and Ivar defend against Danny Burch and Ring Lorcan. And of course, the Women's Championship on the line. And Bianca Blair defends against Rhea Ripley. What a contest. Seven matches lined up for you. At Money in the Bank is Damian Priest tagging in the Rated R Superstar Edge. We got Edge and Austin Theory one-on-one -on -one in this contest for the first time ever. Nice super kick by the Hall of Famer. Again, he qualified by defeating Drew McIntyre in the main event a couple of weeks back. What a phenomenal contest that was. Those two beating the hell out of each other on that night. There's Edge in there with now Austin Theory tagging in Samoa Joe. Another first time ever meeting in this is Samoa Joe suplexes Edge over. Into the wrong corner as Austin Theory's down and out on the outside. Samoa Joe going to look to get the momentum back for his team here as Edge goes for another ride from the big man. And now Joe tagging in Riddle. No matter which way you put it, this is the first time ever meetings for Edge and everybody in this matchup. A lot of interesting factors coming out of these six. 
Riddle out here with unfamiliar partners tonight. He's had a long partnership with Randy Orton. As he touched on earlier, Randy Orton not here tonight. And Riddle set with Austin Theory and Samoa Joe instead as Edge sends Riddle into the wrong corner. He tags in Mustafa Ali. It looks like we get a little double team action out of Edge and Ali here. And we're back where we started with Mustafa Ali and Matt Riddle inside of the ring. As Riddle takes over Ali. Not wait to see which which one of these six is going to take down the Money in the Bank briefcase come May 2nd. A briefcase that can absolutely change the trajectory of your career. With a guaranteed championship match looming for whoever holds the briefcase. you got to imagine what it's going to do and what the matchup's going to be and who's going to pick what spot out of all six of these men. Ali taking down Riddle. Gonna look to keep the fight going here. But Riddle's fighting back. As we mentioned, it's all about building momentum. Nobody's gonna want to give an inch here tonight in this six-man contest. Samoa Joe back in. We got Samoa Joe and Mustafa Ali. What a pairing this is. The power, the agility of Samoa Joe. The speed and uniqueness of Mustafa Ali inside of the ring as he just gets hung up on the top rope. The destroyer is looking to destroy. End of the cover, maybe a little early there as Mustafa Ali gets his shoulder up. As we talked about in recent history, Mustafa Ali had a lot of issues with Seth Rollins, which all started back in the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship before Backlash. Now wait a minute, Riddle is going over here. He's got the submission hold locked in. This is how he qualified for Money in the Bank by tapping out Bobby Lashley last week on Raw. Ali is holding on for dear life. Damian Priest able to get in there and break it up. But now things got to start breaking down. Referee's got to watch Samoa Joe sending Damian Priest over the top rope. And Riddle's got his back turned. Ali just tagged in Edge. And we got Edge and Riddle in here now. Meanwhile, Samoa Joe and Priest brawling on the outside. The nature of a six-man tag. The nature of all these combustible elements. Nice execution by the Red R superstar. Riddle could be down and out. But Riddle able to get the shoulder up. Samoa Joe almost gotten there to break it nonetheless. Edge almost putting away Riddle there. But looks like Edge is going to be looking to put away Riddle again. He's lurking him for the spear. Oh, but a Riddle counter, I believe. With the DDT on Edge, now he tags in Austin Theory, getting the fresher man in the contest. Nice counter there by Edge, or excuse me, by Riddle on Edge. Theory brings the Hall of Famer in the corner. Priest back in his correct corner. Nice clothesline there by All Day Austin Theory. Look at this. Very impressive blockbuster by the young man on the Hall of Famer. Into the cover over Edge. Priest able to break up the count though. Samoa Joe in once again, and the fight begins between those two men yet again. Yeah, that's a one on one contest we got to see here in the future as Austin Theory is going to take Edge over, but Edge still with life left in him. Beautiful drop kick to the young man. Now Edge going to send Austin Theory to the corner. He's putting him on the top rope. God only knows what the Rated R superstar has in mind. He's hanging him up. DDT from the top row, very impressive. And Austin Theory able to sneak into the tag to Matt Riddle, but the Rated R Superstar is right there. Look at this. Execution number two to Riddle. For the second time, he hits it. And the cover on Edge, but Samoa Joe breaks it up. And there's Damian Priest sending Samoa Joe to the outside. Austin Theory's down. Things are breaking down in this contest. Edge, this time, hits the spear. Dead center of the ring. Theory's out. Samoa Joe's out. Edge picks up the victory for his team. An exciting six-man tag team matchup. All hell breaking loose in the closing moments. Matt Riddle with no help to save him. Edge hitting the spear. On the second attempt, he nails it. And inside the middle of the ring, the Rated R Superstar picks up the win for himself, Mustafa Ali, and Damian Priest here this evening. What a great six-man tag team match here tonight on Raw. Here are your winners, Mustafa Ali, Damian Priest, and the Rated R Superstar Edge. Which one of these six men is going to take down the briefcase come May 2nd? They're partners and friends here tonight. But all of that goes aside when the briefcase is hanging above the ring. 
Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Universe Mode Episode 19 for Main Event. And then we will see you right back here on the YouTube channel for the live premiere on Monday night, May the 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Will it be Edge, Ali, Priest, Theory, Joe, or Riddle taking down the Money in the Bank contract? We'll see you then. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Wanna be great, yeah, yeah, yeah.